So we just got a message here guys as you can see what does it say do you do anything with baby squirrels that might be abandoned that are in my front yard baby abandoned squirrels we could definitely help um, this is my friend and I said yes I can definitely take them he said come look it's actually one of my old neighbors I don't even know if he knows I moved but we are going to call him and see what the deal is hey I am home I can head there right now to go look at the squirrels I would just take like probably 20 minutes or so 30 minutes yeah I mean I can head down that way if you want to look at them right now and just see how they're doing how many baby squirrels are there there's two of them let me uh get down there i should be there in like 20 or 30 minutes okay all right thank you bye bye all right so i don't know how much of that will end up in the edited video once we cut that down but basically we have two baby squirrels that were in my neighbor's driveway we have to race down there right now because one of the baby squirrels seems to be okay moving around the other one isn't moving so much but hopefully he will make it they have left them out to see if a mom would come out but the issue is if they've been removed from their nest from either the wind or just falling out of the nest or somebody maybe knocking it out then the mom's probably not going to be able to find them and if they are left by themselves for too long they will not make it so Sean and I have to head down there right now let's go Sean and I are on the way down now and I'm actually getting chauffeured which is very nice that is a different feel but if you guys can see we have some big clouds rolling in here and I'm hoping that we can get down the traffic is pretty bad right now five o'clock rush hour traffic is not fun down here in South Florida and I'm hoping we can get down to these baby squirrels in time before it looks like some rain is coming and if it does rain on these baby squirrels it'll get too cold for them and they might not make it we are pulling up to the house now guys and uh, oh actually have to take a detour back there but we are coming up on the house I don't know if my neighbor wants me filming there so I think we're just gonna pick up the squirrels hopefully they're okay got all this construction work going on up here one hour later we just got the baby squirrels they are in the back I tried taking a little video on my phone usually when I go to people's houses just like with the snake that we recently got from someone's house I usually like to keep the cameras away it kind of makes people feel uncomfortable because they're not used to it how I am filming for you guys so I tried to get a clip on the phone it's right up here or actually I'll play it in a second. Uh huh. Oh, let's see here. Are you okay? See, they're still moving. There is movement. They're still moving there. Let's see, but they're very cold. Yeah. Very, very cold. Oh, too this good. one looks better. Looks a bit better, but I'll put well, them right. One. Oh, he's moving a lot. Yeah. yeah. But they definitely need help. Yeah. So there you have it. That was a brief clip of the baby squirrels and the size that they are and how they basically were when we found them. The guy found them in his driveway. They put them under a little container, a little plastic Tupperware, if you will, just until I got there so that nothing would mess with them like any neighborhood cats or whatever. They basically let the squirrels sit in the grass where the mom could potentially see them for a couple of hours, but the mom never returned from what they saw, so we were the next option option in helping these little guys out if they were alone much longer especially with this rain they would not have made it so we're heading back to the house now we'll see them and see you guys when we get to the house all right so we are here now I know this video is a little all over the place but this was just something that came up we're actually supposed to be redoing a enclosure right now oh my goodness look at these little guys what is all over them let's get them out here let's move this box they need heat guys I really don't know what is going on with these little guys what do we got going here it's a little bit wet oh so we have fly eggs that are developing there oh my goodness look inside that ear there we're gonna need to clean that out these are all fly eggs that would then become maggots they have been laid onto this baby here Oh, and it's alive as you can see it's curling up in my hand so we're gonna need to somehow I don't even know how we can clean this guy off maybe with some some little baby wipes or something to be able to get these fly eggs off which is just gross I was wondering what this white stuff was on these guys I thought it was like wood chips almost this guy's got it in his mouth but they are still okay the first thing we need to do oh, oh, oh it's okay the first thing we need to do is get heat on these guys they are not dead they have still a little bit of hope left but
but they are in critical care right now. Let's get the heat pad and set these guys up. I have the light set up here. I have a temp gun so that we could get the right temperature on these guys. We obviously don't want them to be cold, so we have this light. I was trying to find a heat pad, but since we're in a rush, this was the fastest thing I could find. We're in the garage, which is also warmer, but the maggots are moving around and I want to get this ear cleaned. If you push in here, this is what the ear is supposed to look like. This little guy here is doing all right, except he has some of these fly eggs in his mouth. And before they develop into anything, which happens very rapidly, I want to get those eggs off of him and off of this one here. But this is not looking good. This guy is going to need to be brought out here. We've got some baby wipes and I'm going to put it just down here on this area now, I don't wanna get these guys too wet because if they get too cold again, that is not good for them. We've gotta work quickly here. These are some moistened wipes and we've got our tweezers here to hopefully pick out these little guys out of this guy's ear. Oh, it's okay, buddy. I understand that this is gonna be uncomfortable. All right, let's try to get in here. I don't wanna push anything deeper. I understand that's uncomfortable. I'm so sorry. They're causing you all sorts of irritation. There we go. This is gonna take a little while probably, guys. Just taking a closer look here with the phone. Look at that, all of those little maggots as I was saying there, trying to get a better look. We just had to run to the store and get more baby wipes just because what we really needed was rubbing alcohol. The rubbing alcohol, the goal with this is to go into this ear and try to kill these uh, worms, these maggots. Let's see if we can get a phone out. You can see that in there. I know we're trying to cause the least amount of irritation now. I know, I know, I know. It's not fun. It's not fun being a baby squirrel, being so fragile. You can see there's some maggots already on there. We have some sort of liquid. I believe these maggots are already kind of eating away, sadly, at this squirrel's ear. Oh, there we go. This cotton swab is really doing a good job of getting these guys out of here. I don't think they like that rubbing alcohol too much. It's a pretty strong chemical for them. Doing a great job. I don't know if that's focusing on there. That is just crazy. We're wiping it away and trying to work as quickly as possible. What we don't wanna do is jam these guys into his ear and mess up his hearing because obviously we are trying to get them all out and not clog that canal down there, but I think this is working really well. We're gonna switch up the sides here. That is just looking nasty. I'm gonna dunk this down in there. Okay, all right, little mister. Where are you going? See if you could put that over for me. Not fun stuff, but it's looking a lot better, Mr. Squirrel. Now I should probably be doing this with gloves, but we're trying to work really quickly here. We're on the next squirrel now, and uh, this one doesn't seem to be nearly as bad. What this one has here is it has eggs coming out of its mouth. And so what we wanna do, oof, gently, oh I know, it's hard, look, its mouth is totally plugged up with those fly eggs. I know, I know, I know. This must be irritating for you. We're gonna get you all cleaned up, it's okay. Okay, all right, that's it. This does not have any rubbing alcohol on it, guys. It's clean. If there's something that you guys at home are watching and you're saying I'm doing something wrong, I've never had to extract these fly eggs from a squirrel or any animal like this before. Obviously the flies thought that these poor babies were a good host. That is just not the case because they are beautiful little squirrels and I think they are in good care now. So it is the next day here guys. I'm not sure if my face is a little weird. I had a dentist appointment early this morning that I couldn't miss because I had some cavities. Not good, but my face is a little numb. Having said that, we do have to rush these guys, well, this one down to the wildlife rehabber. Sadly, the other one didn't make it, guys. Send a little prayer for this guy because we don't know if he is going to make it, but he's looking okay. Just the cutest little thing in the world. Much better without all the fly eggs on him. If you look at a before and after of these guys, this guy just looks a lot better. But we're gonna race down to the wildlife rehabber now. We are about to pull up. We've made the long journey down and we have our baby squirrel here. We're about to pull up to the rehabber, but 
this is the last time we are seeing the baby squirrel guys so we are going to get him or her into good hands i'll see you after we drop her off and just like that guys we are back at the house really worried about this one little squirrel because i did see some maggots in his ear as well i think that is the reason why the other squirrel didn't make it it was the squirrel with the whole problem where we were trying to help it just a sad situation if you guys ever see a squirrel in need of help or any little animal call your wildlife rehabbers in your area but guys hopefully we can stay updated with the wildlife rehabber on this little baby squirrel i thank you guys so much for watching this video all the way through if you gotten to this point subscribe to the channel if you guys want to see more like this video because it supports me and the little animals that we help out and i will see you guys in the next adventure peace